Talk. Thank you. Don't worry. We will have okay. fun. All I right. promise you. Okay. I promise you. Now that we've turned down the volume in our headsets, we should be a little bit comfortable here. Uh, so, so first, I always like asking coaches, especially ones who are outside what I call the big three, football, basketball, baseball, yep. the main three. What got you into coaching? Um, actually, I'm from Bell Fountain originally, and I started coaching when I was 16. I did uh, Little little Chiefs. So I'd always been a part of cheer. Cheer's always been kind of part of my life, and um, I got asked to help out in, in high school and just have kind of stuck with it. Um, and then I've done several different positions, I guess, um, but I have been teaching at Urbana for 23 years and I've been coaching there pretty much the entire time. So So then what brought you from Bell Fountain to Urbana? Um, I got a teaching job. That's who hired go. me. There yep. you go. The first job and you're still with it. Yep. That's who hired me. Go climbers. <laughs> <laughs> but clearly you still make it up here enough to, to yeah. spend time in Bell Fountain and yeah. I'm sure you've had a, a fair bit of Ron's pizza back in the day, I'm sure. Um, actually... I've been, um, I, my family still all lives here, and I've met my grandma and my mom up here for dinner, and I had Ron's Pizza at the, when we played Bell Fountain at the high school, so. Okay, and now a reunion with it, with all yep. the team. It's probably going to be a record. I, I, I would encourage the, the viewers to go back and, and count what the largest group that we've had here. Oh, really? Before, it's probably, I counted 16, including you and who I can assume is your assistant coach. Yeah, yeah, we have uh, um, yeah. 16 that we're taking, and a couple girls had to work tonight, so they didn't come, but yeah. So I mentioned in the, in the opener, you guys are headed down to Orlando for Friday. Major competition for yeah. you guys. It's I'm, I'm from Mechanicsburg. It's not often that anybody from the OHC or the CBC, in your case, leaves out of state, especially to go on the other side of the country. Yeah. Tell me about this trip that you've got coming up later this week. Um, so we um, earned a bid we at, with the UCA um, cheer competition. They had a regional um, back in November, and we earned a bid to um, go to nationals. Um, with our traditional team. So that's where we're headed on Friday. We actually leave, um, our plane leaves out at 5.30 a.m. Yeah, so <laughs> school bus is picking us up from the school at 2.30 a.m. to take us to Columbus to the airport, so. I, let me just say, I do not envy you. Not only do I have to deal with a bunch of high school girls who are up at 5.30, they have to be at 2.30. Yeah, yeah, I am I just asked a couple of them, how many have not been on an airplane? And there's a good handful, so. That'll be interesting. That'll be the interesting part. <laughs> Make sure to bring plenty of uh, uh, plenty of gum. Yep, that's what I told him. And uh, probably some headache medication. Yeah. Just in case. Yeah. That, but that'll be fun, though. I mean, you get to go down there and, and compete with some of the best teams in the country. That's That's got to be a big honor oh, it is. to go there. Most definitely. I mean, it wasn't something – I don't want to say it's not something I expected, but it kind of really wasn't something I expected. And these girls have just really pulled together and – they're, they're starting to believe in themselves, which is, I think, half the battle anyway. So I don't think it's unfair to say that this was unexpected. I mean, there, there are things in life that you hope for and that yeah. you obviously would love to get. But I, I think there's, there's that realm of, you know, preparing yourself for, let's be honest, I probably won't get this. And that yeah. honestly allows you to be more excited mm -hmm. when you get opportunities like these, especially yeah. when you get to share them with 14 doing some quick math there, 16 minus two coaches, 14 yeah. competitors who well, are we, we at the top level of the sport here. Yeah, we'll have 15 on the mat, um, and there are 16 that are going. Another a girl um, that's on our game day routine is also going. So, yeah, there'll be 18 of us total. So I've heard you mention a few times. You said traditional. You said game day. Walk me through the different teams that you have there and what you'll be doing on Friday. Okay, so um, what we actually have two different routines, and we did – try out for both of them and our traditional team is the one that um, earned the bid so a, tr a traditional team is more um, when you like, like music wise it's going to sound um, a little more dance like hip hop like um, whereas your game day is going to use your like high school band music so it's going to be okay. your fight song and a band chant and then you also do like a sideline and a cheer whereas what we're doing we do have a cheer um, part of it but the music it's just a different type of music. There's a lot of more tumbling, a lot more jumps that are involved. How much of an overlap is there between competitors who are on both the traditional and the game day team? Um, we actually just competed at our OASSA regional um, qualifier to go to states. And so we, and we did qualify for both of those routines. So there are 19 on our game day. And then, like I said, there are 15. So four of our girls 
are not on the traditional team that are on the game day. Okay, so so even still, like so this will be something completely separate. You guys will come home yep. and have to get right into the swing of yep. state. Yes, yes, we um, compete at the state uh, competition in March, March 1st. Now, state is not a tournament for cheer, right? It, it's a one big event it per is. division, right? Correct. So um, the regional qualifier that we just went to this past weekend, there were five different locations you could have gone to. Sure. And so we went down to the one at Centerville High School, and you don't really get scored or anything like that. They just, you do your performance, and then at the end they tell, like, they announce who qualified. And so then you got about a month to qualify for that. And it's really just about um, just different organizations. So OASSA is Ohio administrations of secondary school or something at that to that effect sure so that's the organization that has a regional for high school and then you qualify for states okay so there so and i and i mean not tournament stuff somebody's throwing plates at us <laughs> uh not tournament style in that like you don't it's not like you versus bell fountain and then the winner moves on to, to cheer no. against mechanicsburg no. and that it is the, you go here, you win this regional, you move on. And then that. it kind of just depends. Um, like when we were at regionals, I believe there were like 13 in our um, division. I don't know how many they chose. It's not really like a set number. And then, like I said, there'll be teams from all these different five locations that will all meet. And it's at Big Walnut High School. Now, what does preparation look like for those? I, I would assume from the cheer teams that I've talked to in the past, you keep the same routine, maybe oh, yeah. throw in a few things throughout the year. Um, so we like received our choreography, I guess you could say. We had choreography back in July, and from what that routine was until what we have now has kind of tra changed. I mean, a lot of it is the same, but a lot of it has changed as well. Or, you know, a lot of it is the same, but a lot of it has changed as well. Sure. Um, you know, just their skill level increases. Um, and so we add things in, we clean it up. We've actually been working with um, this, what's called the studio in Urbana and the owner there um, has helped us clean up our routine to kind of get us ready for nationals. But cheer is really like a year long thing. And I mean, you gotta be willing to put, make cheer your life when it comes to competition. And these girls, they'll tell you, like, you know, they eat, breathe and they're, they're never away from each other. That's for sure. <laughs> Did you ever think back in the season when you were just starting choreography, like, wow, we, we, we'd make it here? Or was that more of the honestly, put the hand in the no, head in the hand? Like, I knew this was our year. Honestly, okay. I knew this was our year. Like, the year that we were going to shine, this was going to be it. Um, we've got six seniors, um, so out of 15, you know, so like a big chunk are upperclassmen, you know, and then we got juniors. And we have a couple of freshmen. We have one sophomore. So, um we got some years behind us too. We're ready to go, but I knew this was going to be our year to shine. And it sounds like there was a little bit more writing on it in that it was going to be the last time that a lot of these oh, competitors yeah. could get the chance yes. to do that. Yes. Yes. That, that um, has to add a little bit of it's now or never mm -hmm. to the mindset of the team. It kind of is. And then, you know, like I said, we've got a, we got some younger girls too, so our future, we still, you know, we got a bright future ahead of us as well. Yeah, absolutely. And and I think we're about the time where we are going to split up and, okay. and bring groups here. Yeah. You stay right there. Because okay. okay. I always enjoy when, when coaches get to hear what their students yeah. say. Yeah. Uh, all right. Group one. Group one. Ariana. Who's coming up first? All Maya. right. All right. <laughs> we got to give them a minute, everybody. They've, they've just had pizza. They're a little slow. <laughs> They're not as quick as they usually are. It's all right. All right. I referred to your Ariana as Miss Public Speaking. <laughs> Who else am I talking to? Well, it, it would here. Don't 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 hide behind Coach. Like spread out. Come on now. Somebody got shoved. I, there was a little bit of a flop there too. Uh, <laughs> okay. Like I said, these girls are together all did, the time. Hold on, so. hold on one second. Did I make sure to turn that on? I did not. <laughs> You were going to be talking into nothing <laughs> for a long time, and it would have been hilarious until I went back and rewatched this. <laughs> All right, uh, who am I talking to? I'm Maya. I'm Ariana. I'm Bree. Okay. So, and and why were you three the ones who decided to come out? Were you just eager to be here more than everybody else, <laughs> or did you just finish your pizza first? Um, they just don't really pay attention. Yeah, I was kind of uh, that that checks. That checks. 
So, and we love being here. So what was your best or favorite moment of the year so far? Um, I would say qualifying for nationals because we weren't expecting it at all. And when they said our names, we kind of just dropped our faces in surprise instead of everyone else who was yelling and screaming because we were like, um, no way that just happened. But now we're excited. Yeah, I'd probably have to agree. Definitely our bid to nationals because I don't think any of us really expected that. We were all definitely in shock. <laughs> oh, what do I? <laughs> Mine was probably UCA camp. I had a lot of fun there, even though it was kind of like the walks were kind of annoying. But I did have a lot of fun, like bonding with the team and getting to know everyone. Maybe you guys just flip everywhere from now on. Yeah. Instead of walking. Yeah, that might be the is new. Is that a good idea, in. coach? Yeah. <laughs> oh, because I had him walking. Yeah. It was like 10 miles a day that we and walked. And she was beating us all there. Yeah. Why? I, I guarantee you guys weren't out catching Pokemon. Like, what were you walking for? Well, I mean, she also would just leave us all behind and just take off. And we'd be like, where'd she go? And she's at the <laughs> building like, I'm waiting. And we're like, oh, you left. But it's okay. We got there and we were all safe. I, I will ask while we're talking about coach. I, I know cheer is very physical. There are a lot of different things that you, you go into being able to flip and do the floor routines. You get to practice, and coach says, "Oh, we're doing this today," and you immediately go, "Ah, oh, what is that thing?" Um, fill in the blank. If well, you will. our first thing is we're all off the mouths, and we're like, we're actually at practice. This is not a dream. We're here. <laughs> and that's, that's the worst thing for me. Um, the worst thing for me is when she says, okay, let's start those laps, and then we condition for like 30 minutes. How long is practice? Um, two hours. Two hours. Two hours. <laughs> yeah. Um, nah. mine's, mine's probably um, jumps, because jumps are not my strong suit. <laughs> See, I, I gave you guys a chance to – to redeem yourselves from the first question because we got three unique answers from from this unlike the first two where you two matched okay <laughs> we need the unique answers we love the unique answers on this show okay so when we move into now your favorite thing from practice i'm hoping we get unique stuff again um or when it's over. No, no, I'm kidding. Oh, wow. I'm kidding. Um, I like this when is we... the one you were talking about, isn't it? <laughs> oh, oh, definitely. I, I like when we hit a good full out and we actually feel good about it instead of we in the full out and we're all like, that was disgusting. Because it makes us all feel good. So I like that. Um, I really like the water breaks. <laughs> But I also like um, whenever we're stretching together as a team because we kind of talk and we get to bond a little bit more. Small victories, at least that's not when it's over. Yeah. Um, stop, I can't be different because they said what I like. <laughs> <laughs> like. That's basically the same thing. Um, I like, I kind of like when we do sections because then it's not full. I like watching other sections, like that's kind of fun. When we like split off and we watch like one half do the routine and the other half. That's kind of fun. It like gives you more of a visual of what everything looks like. Yeah. Learning from each other keeps us interesting. Yes. Name that movie. <laughs> it, my license plate is actually named after Caddyshack, which that no. movie's from. Uh, yeah, that's that's from the 80s. Yeah, so I was going to say, I don't know what we're time. talking about. It was way before your time. That's back when comedies were actually funny. Uh, <laughs> I say that like I was alive at that time. No. Okay. Uh, I, I will get into, I assume you have music, right? Yeah, because yeah. you said you do a lot of hip-hop tracks there. We, we like the routine this year, right? Yeah. We like the yes. music there? Yes. Well, actually, that's a funny story. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> so, I mean, we've come really far, let's put it that way, because we had a struggle getting our music, um, and so we actually ended up... Um, recertifying, relicensing, because you have to buy a license for the music you use, and okay. it's only good for a year. So I had to contact the company um, that we had gotten the music from a couple years ago to recertify that because we had not gotten the music that we were supposed to have, and we had so we, we had that practice, so we started using old music, and, and that's just kind of what has stuck. So <laughs> that was interesting in, in itself. So let's just pretend that Coach has made 
what would objectively be a terrible decision and let you three pick the music for next year. Oh. Assuming licenses are not a problem, what's the routine going to be like next year? Amazing. I mean, I did it. I picked it. I got no, I'm kidding. Um, it would definitely Very be... Very humble, this one. <laughs> it would definitely be really upbeat because when it's just slow, it's it's boring and I'm not excited to do it. But, but is cheer ever slow? Not with her. <laughs> We're always on the move, and we're always doing something. If we're sitting around too long, she's ready to throw all of us out. She's made us leave True before See, because we weren't doing anything, and it made her mad, so we had to go home. See, I got the I got the lineup of who would be on the show, I think, like two days ago. <laughs> and where a lot of hosts, I think, would be like, oh, really, cheer? I go, yes. Because cheerleaders <laughs> never hold back what they're actually feeling. Oh, no. And it's so fun. As opposed to, like, when you talk with football and they've all been media trained. <laughs> What's your favorite game of the season? Well, we just focus on the next one coming up. <laughs> Tell me actually what you think. Okay. How about you two? Um, i definitely probably add in some hairography because I saw a couple of teams do that. And it looked pretty cool. And it's, like, where you play with your hair. <laughs> like in what se- like you're whipping it like a death yeah, metal like concert or what? Yeah, like you whip your hair and then you like pull your ponytail up and like wave it around. <laughs> it's a it's a real thing. Uh, we have no, I, we have I, no I, I don't hair doubt that it's real. My my follow up question is why? Because it's cute. Why not? So you all turn into helicopters mid routine? No, like I don't get the appeal. Until you grab it and it's like you walk. You would walk. How up long is like, your ponytail? Oh. You inches. Got some hair. We got some hair. But Be- believe it or not, and I, and I'll I'll have to find the picture and send it to Coach. I had I had hair, probably your length back in the day. Oh, I did. It, it looked like snazzy. Trevor. It looked like Trevor Lawrence. Yes. Oh, so okay. that's why I'm thinking like ponytail. I'm like how. <laughs> Can't do you that. gotta put it up here. And it has to be high. If oh, it's yeah, not no, high, no. mine really was high. mine was mid back. Oh no, ours has yeah. to be here. Or we're we're not doing the routine. Yeah, I'm also a guy, so I'm not unicorn horning <laughs> my ponytail here. All right. How about you? Final one. I know it's not going to be as Wait, amazing as hers. What was the question? What what's what's the routine? Sorry. What's the music for the routine next year going to be if you got to pick? Um, amazing. Very upbeat. Um, probably more more like this generation music because I feel like our music this year is kind of like it's not it's like there's it's like some weird, there's some really weird music in there like there's a part of our song that's like what's a country boy to do and I'm like what is that so next, sometimes that's on purpose next year we're using Spotify instead of wax <laughs> vinyls <laughs> Sometimes yes. that is on purpose, though, because choreographers don't want them to know the music because then they we get just start singing, singing it, it instead of learning the routine to count. A turntable? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> I actually know what that is. <laughs> Do you know what an 8-track tape is? Nope. There we go. I'll go learn, though. An 8-track tape. Yeah. How old are you? <laughs> I turned 22 in, on Sunday. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, that's when we compete. Yeah. Ta-da. Spend your birthday watching us. Super, you won't regret it. Super, uh, I'm not watching the Super Bowl, that's for certain. Yeah, we don't want to see Taylor. Thank you. See, I thought for sure. I already see. I already told people. I'm like, look, if I get any, you're turning 22 on the day that Taylor yeah, Swift no. is at the Super Bowl jokes. I'm. You're not my friend anymore. And go 49ers. Good. Oh, you say go I like her. I like her. Gary. Go Gary, we need to have her on. Like, this is permanent co-host. Permanent I'll be co-host. Here. I promise you. Hire me. I like this. You we will have so much fun. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Who day? <laughs> Joe Burrow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. We now, will be back. Now we'll, now we'll give up on that. All right. Let's, listen, the future is only bright for my Browns. All right. Oh no. Go brownies. Yep. You guys would have fun. All right. Losing. I don't even know if anybody else from the team wants to even come up, to be honest with you. They I'm, don't. I might yeah, just they, keep you three. Nobody they're else just wants I think we're the best. Yeah, so we'll, what? They, they we'll just, give you what's real. So what? They just came for the pizza? Like, that's yeah. basically. They're all big girls. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're all, she says it out of love. We love to joke <laughs> she, with she each says other. It, no, 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 no. Nobody, nobody <laughs> pretend like anything happened because the mic was right here. I don't know if it picked her up. So <laughs> We all joke with each wipe, other. Wipe the beads of sweat off our foreheads and, and, and move on here. Uh, <laughs> I did. I did tease. Uh, I, I did tease earlier when we were talking about questions. I believe you asked me the sample questions, and I wanted to just keep you. I just wanted to keep you in the dark because it's frankly hilarious. But uh, if, if you have a long bus ride, such as the one you guys are going to have at two thirty in the friggin' morning to the airport, 
who are you not wanting to sit next to on the bus? Amaya, because she will talk your ear off. She does not shut up ever. She always has something to say. <laughs> you're, getting the, you're getting the stank eye right sometimes now. Sometimes it is really funny, you're but... You're the hardest side eye. <laughs> I would not. She's too hyper. <laughs> I'm not sitting by Maya because she doesn't shut up. She's got this huge mouth that doesn't stop talking. And I'm trying to... Not at 2.30. Yes, at 2.30. Why do I feel like you would get up at 1 just to be fully energized at 2.30? Um, we have to be there at 2.30. I'll probably be there at 2. I'm the only one that's ever on time, so I probably will be awake. But um, it would probably be Jenny and Amy because I'm. it's going to be 2.30 in the morning and they're going to be dying laughing for no reason. Do you have this in your suitcase? Did you have this and that? That's all you're going to hear. I didn't get your papers. I bet you're loving that you have a headset on and you can hear all of yes. this right now. Yes. Yeah. I've debated putting earplugs in mine before. Just a few, I, made, I made the bad decision once. I think we had Riverside here, and I, and I made the mistake of asking them what one of their chants was, and they did it, oh, like, gosh. right behind me. Yes. I'm still trying probably to regain don't. hearing. Yeah, I probably don't do that right now. The entire this one. The entire restaurant looked at me. I'm like... Yeah, that's my call, but they did it. Yeah. <laughs> so that's their fault. I'm quiet. No, it is funny. There is a, uh, I'll, I'll switch to a little bit of, of, of sentimental here. What is the best thing that coaches ever told you, either on or off the mat? Oh, gosh. Um, see, it's very rare, but the, me. The, the <laughs> smile tells me this is going to be a great answer. It's very real that I get something sentimental. Um, <laughs> that is not. Wow. Okay. I get stuff sentimental, but it's usually because um, I had an attitude, and um, when I have an Had? attitude, it attitude. doesn't go away. Po- so past tense? Always. She's gotten a lot better. Okay. I have gotten a lot better. Um, I was, randomly, I get told, Maya, I do love you. And, you know, that makes it all worth it. <laughs> the, the way you said that, though, it reminds me of what my Spanish teacher would say. There's always a but, and sometimes it's a big one. There's always so a but. Every so every time you, when you said like Maya, you know I love you, I immediately heard okay, where's the but coming? But I need you to get rid of your attitude. But I need you to just listen to me for once. But I know what I'm talking about. But please stop talking right now while I'm trying to talk. Those are usually the main True ones. Story. Which True which story. is fair. That, that's a, that's fair <laughs> to yeah. be honest. I, I can see it. Yeah, I can get most it. Definitely. Um, the most sentimental thing, oh gosh, I'm um, okay, probably when we come off the mat after a really hard routine and she says, wow guys, that was actually, you guys look pretty tight in that because tightness is something that we definitely struggle with a lot. <laughs> um, mine's probably when Jenny tells me to correct something, I do it and she's like, that's why she's my favorite. I love it so much. But I'm the favorite. <laughs> She'd be so lost without me. <laughs> I do you know? agree. I, I do have favorites, but I have favorites because they're coachable. Okay. I'm the daughter she never had. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, wow. Bree's next. Bree's, like, really close there. She's wow. really close. Right there. I've just been around so long she hasn't got there yet. Some would say too long. <laughs> yeah, she would. She's probably, she's probably sad I didn't graduate early. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Me? No, never. Can you graduate high school early? If you have enough credits. Yeah, we had a cheerleader that, that happened a couple years ago. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. We always had required stuff through every year. Well, she like did like college prep and things yeah, like that. Yeah, she was so. yeah. All right. Good for her. All right. Yeah. Uh, I know you guys are getting down there on Friday, but the way you said it, my, the, my birthday remark, you guys don't compete until Sunday. So you've got, uh, aside from practices, yeah. of course, you've got some downtime there, right? Yeah. Yeah. We're kind of excited. What, do, what are you doing in Orlando? Um, well, we'll be at Disney all day Saturday. Yeah. Um, I might try to get lost so I don't have to come home. <laughs> who knows? I have a feeling there will be 16 other people who want that to happen. Probably. Yeah, they, but lucky me, my mom lives there. so. They've been given strict instructions that... They go nowhere without a group of four. I'm sneaky. So. <laughs> I run. Oh, God. Who gave her the mic? What are we doing? Um, <laughs> I, I meant for it to be her mic, <laughs> just for the record. Yeah. Well, Ariana. 
See, Ari on us in Decca. And then she, sa- she, she says, hold on, hold it, hold it up really quick. And then she comes up to the mic and goes, uh, <laughs> this is mine. I don't have to put on the snooty voice often. I like this. Uh, Friday, we get there 5.30, and Jenny just wants us to kind of relax and swim. That's She'll probably fun. yell at us for something. <laughs> my, uh, my... <laughs> Yeah. No, actually, it will be 5.30 in the morning, and she'll go, so I know you got, I told you guys that we're going to relax until Sunday and take it easy, but I want 10 full outs real quick. Okay, in go swim. <laughs> That's a yeah. genie. She's actually trying to have us swim at the pool at like 7 o'clock in the morning. Yes. It's going to be 50 degrees. Seven's too late. In the morning? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, so I'm thinking like 4. Uh... That's a little, my roommate and I are at the gym at 5.30, so we'll like call 5.30, call 5.30. Well, okay. we are having a team meal on the first night Yes, together. and we will all look oh, alike. Oh, is it Disney cookies? Oh, no, we get ice cream sandwiches. We're going to, it's called T-Rex. See, ice cream's not, if you meant for that for me, to make me jealous, ice cream's not the play. No, I want some cupcakes. Still not the play. Cookies aren't good. Nope. Still not the play. My mother's triple layer chocolate cake is the frickin' move. Are you your mom's favorite? You look like yes, and she's admitted it. <laughs> Which is funny, because Josh, my brother, will still tell me, how are you mom's favorite? And I say, I don't know. I've messed up so much more than you have. That's what I say when everyone asks how I'm Jenny's favorite. We're fun. We're the favorites because we're exciting. Yeah, we're exciting. There we go. Mm-hmm. Yes, our lives are eventful. And she needs someone to yell at. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll end it with this. What's the What's the favorite thing at Disney you guys are the want to try or you know that you love? Um... Honestly, I've been to Disney before, and it's not my favorite. I'm sorry to anyone from Disney that sees this. You guys work really hard, but clip I'm it, just a clip chill person. Clip it. <laughs> I'm just a chill person, and I'd rather be at the hotel. But I like food, so I'll eat all your food. You'll get my money. What about this has been chill? Um, I'm definitely probably excited for Epcot because they have really good food. And Animal Kingdom has a lot of roller coasters and some good new rides. So I'm excited to see those. You might be the first person I've ever met who is excited for Animal Kingdom. Just being honest, I, it's not a bad thing. Just, I that's never the that's never the answer. <laughs> Animal I get. Kingdom is good. That's it's never fun. the answer. I okay, get. well obviously they haven't been to Disney enough, and they need to go try again. Hey, 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 hey! hey. Like I said, like I said, I got no problem with it. All right, I'm not dropping <laughs> the gloves with you over this. I'm just saying this is a first for me. That's all I'm saying. I mean, if you want to come, just say that. Um, nah. I've never been to Disney, so probably all of it because I've never been. Okay, that'll be fun. Go on, go on Splash Mountain. You'll love it. We'll take you there. <laughs> <laughs> Was it the splash or the mountain park that turned you <laughs> off to that? The yeah, splash. That's figures. That figures. Although it is a great place to get a team picture. Well, they are all already the been told all there will be about 500 pictures Check in taken. at UHS Cheer, and you'll get all the looks. <laughs> Whether our eyes are closed or not. <laughs> on all the socials? Yes. Yes. Well, Facebook Instagram, and Instagram, Facebook. You might as well plug the TikTok, too. Because yeah, I know, we'll make I one. know we'll how make you one. all are. We'll get it. We'll make a TikTok account when we get there. Oh, yeah. And if you want to see the behind the scene vlogs, visit Amaya Things on YouTube. <laughs> Amaya Things nah. will get you all of the good. She, All the good clips. Vlog everywhere we go. Things, yeah, it's not things. A H dot T I N G Z Z a Z at the In case you didn't know how to spell things, there you go. No things. 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 She she misspelled. So you can't spell. She she. Oh okay okay. See because you said Amaya things and then you spelled it things and I was like oh I heard an H okay got it. Got it. We're all on the same page. Okay, perfect. <laughs> oh, cheerleaders are undefeated in fun interviews. All right. You all may go back and tell your teammates lies about all the crappy things you told about them. I will. Uh, it, it'll be, it, it's hilarious. Like, I fully picture people going over there and saying, like, oh, yeah, I called you big girls. They did. <laughs> Oh, no, she doesn't, she doesn't care. It will hurt That's somebody's true. feelings, and she'll just laugh about it. That's true. So will <laughs> you've, I. You've already gotten a few eyes, so I guarantee when they come over there, somebody's going to take a, a, a lamp and go, what did you say? And I'll be okay. I'll tell them. I'll be honest. Interrogating. Honesty is key. Somebody will crack. It's, it, it will be free. Personal experience. It happens at every interrogation. Free will crack. Free is one of our freshmen, so that's... She'll crack. I, I, honestly, like... 
You had that. freshman written all over you. <laughs> just Aww. be, just, hey, hey. Again, again. Her nose not, is flaring. Hey, hey, hey. Just not being, not a bad thing. I would watch your, tie t her, your, your tire. You have sophomore or junior? Oh. She's a senior. She leaves. See, I was Maya. just about. What's Maya then? If I'm being honest, I was going to say, you don't look like you're quite evolved for a senior yet. <laughs> but okay, <laughs> never mind. Oh, Maya's definitely a sassy junior. Sure am. Confident enough to know she has one more year left, but already has a legacy to know she's a pain in the keister. <laughs> you said it perfectly. Yeah, there And Jenny will probably tell everyone that from Hey, look, I'm fine being two for three. It's okay. All right, I'll take this back before you do any more damage. And uh, you may go yeah, back to your pizza. Team <laughs> she said oh she might not be on the team tomorrow. Oh, my gosh. She might not be alive tomorrow with if the rest of the team gets all of her. Coach, that was very enjoyable. Yeah. I, I, Welcome to my life. <laughs> I can't wait to see how you sort through the chaos of everybody else figuring out what everybody else up here just said. Yeah. So I wish you luck and, and obviously safe travels and a great competition Thank down you. in Florida. Thank you. Go Climbers. We, al we always yeah. end with a handshake. I will tell you to please keep your headset on until Gary sends us to break. Okay. He loves that. It's my second time back from him since I took a week break, so I'm trying not to get on his bad side. And he did me a birthday favor for later, so I'm trying to be nice to him for this one time. This one time. Then we're back to the usual mayhem. This one time. Don't get used to it. When we come back, we're talking Footloose with the cast of Indian Lake High School. Don't go anywhere. Chalk Talk. We'll be right back. Ohio High Point 664th Hair Force Salon is now open and ready to pamper you from head to toe. Treat yourself to a relaxing spa day with our wide range of services. Whether it's a fresh haircut, a soothing facial, or a perfect manicure and pedicure, we've got you covered. And here's the best part. Prices start at just $5. Yes, you heard that right, $5. You can look and feel amazing without breaking the bank. Appointments are available Wednesday through Friday, starting at 8.30 a.m. Come experience the 664th Hair Force Salon at Ohio High Point. The weekend should be for relaxing, and that means no cooking. Check out what's hot at Ron's Pizza in Bell Fountain. On top of pizzas, they have subs, sandwiches, salads, and lots of sides like breadsticks, garlic cheese bread, pickle chips, beer battered onion rings, loaded fries, and more. Check out a specialty pizza this weekend. Ron's Pizza is ready to cook for you. Call 292-7775 or stop by and dine in on South Main Bell Fountain. See more and a menu online at Ron's Pizza's Facebook page. God's Wealth Advisors asked the question, where could retirement take you? We want to go to Alaska. Never been there. And I've been wanting to go for the last 15 years. My wife keeps on saying, no, we're not old enough yet. I think we're old enough now to go enjoy Alaska. At God's Wealth Advisors, we want to hear your retirement dreams and help you turn them into reality. I'm Paul from Urbana. Where could retirement take you? Yay. All right. Now you are dismissed. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we have no idea what we're doing here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, okay. So coming up next, if we're able to go to break for a minute while I get the people up here we will bring up our cast of Footloose yes we will bring our cast of Footloose up here and we will talk with them from Indian Lake High School Footloose a movie that I love so I will be eager to see how much of this is accurate to the film coach right here coach slash director right here so we'll reserve that we'll reserve that this is for you we saved you a spot all right, who's sitting on the thing? This is called a stool, actually. I don't know why I forgot that. Ta-da. I recognize you. You know how this works. Yeah, I remember. Yes. Hopefully, he says that with fond memories and not, wow, I yeah, hated this. I can't believe they asked me to do it again. I was happy to come back. Okay, so basically <laughs> what I got texted was that you're all from Indian Lake and you're doing Footloose. I don't know anybody's name, so please introduce yourselves. Okay, I'm Tracy Notestein. She's got one. Yes, I'm, <laughs> um, I'm Tracy Notstein. I'm the director at Indy Lake High School. 
I'm Courtney Manahan. I am in the Footloose cast. I'm Riley really? Ross. I'm Hallie Roby. I'm Crew McPherson. Are you all three also in the Footloose cast? Yes. Okay, good. Just to make Just sure. <laughs> <laughs> Did I hear your last name right? Notson? Notstein. Like N O T E? Yeah. Music's in the name. That's right. Ta da. Married the right guy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it was the plan. <laughs> Some marry for money, some marry for love, some marry for last names. Yeah. That happens next Christmas. I don't know why that sounded like a plot for a movie. Uh, speaking of movies, though, I love Footloose. I grew up with Me both too. the original and the remake, which I, I might like the remake a little better because this is what happens when you cast dancers in the role is the dancing is incredible. At least the barn scene. Like, if you put white stripes in the barn scene, that's fantastic. But... One of the things I asked them as you were coming up was, I wonder how much, how, how faithful to the movie this musical is. Because I've never seen the musical. Well, the musical is actually written by the same gentleman who wrote the movie. They just made it into a musical. Okay. So it does stay true. Um, a lot of the soundtrack pieces that you hear in the movie are the songs that we're singing in the musical. Um, but it does dig a little bit deeper into the relationships. Okay. So, that's kind of what makes it fun. Uh, so, uh, so I would assume they're all original people because I don't remember anybody singing. I remember a lot of great music, right? But I don't remember anybody no aside from sang. Kenny Loggins singing in the yes, movie. Yes, exactly. So, um, for instance, like when you see Chuck in the opening scene and he's driving the truck and they're playing chicken, they mm -hmm. play "The Girl Gets Around." Chuck actually sings "The Girl Gets Around." So the okay. macho guy actually sings too. Okay. All right, I get you now. I get you now. I should have also let off because this is a musical, dang it, and nobody here is representing themselves. Who is everybody in the show? I play Wendy Jo. I'm a part of the chorus. I have like three parts, but my main part is Travis. Okay. I'm in the chorus. Okay. All right. No, no Ren? Where's Ren? Well, a lot of the guys stayed for the wrestling meet tonight. But while Fair. Why, one of the reasons we are here is because we wanted to talk about how all of these folks are doing a winter sport yep. and still doing Footloose, the musical, and how that kind of works. And yep. So these were the folks that were not doing a sport tonight or <laughs> cheering on their friends at senior night at the wrestling meet. I know you're in cheer. I can read by context clues that you're in swimming. How I figured that out, I don't know. <laughs> I am Sherlock. I'm psychic. Uh, you're not wearing anything revealing. What are you two in? Okay, so I'm in J.O. volleyball right now, but like my freshman year, I played basketball on top of like doing musical. J.O. volleyball? So just like what? travel volleyball. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Right. Like AAU basketball. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm in cheer also. Okay, perfect. Were you one last time? Yeah. Wow, <laughs> now that's embarrassing. <laughs> I recognize one, but not everybody. Okay. Wow. Well, and softball kind of runs into it does, musicals, yeah. so I'm in softball. Too. Sure, because your musical is what, March? The very first I'm week of March. I'm trying to go off of when ours second. was. Yeah. yeah, okay. You didn't ours get was tickets? second or third. Bruh, I'm going to be in Florida. <laughs> ah, I got I got. high school You want us to come on here, but you're not even going to go <laughs> watch this well, show? Okay, I haven't, been to a, I haven't been to a musical since my senior year, and I was on stage. Okay. I, I, I don't know. Well, Maybe, it's about, Maybe it's about time. Maybe it's about time. It's about time. Yeah. Know? You can cancel that plane <laughs> that it and come watch. We have pre-sale tickets right now, right now, if you need some. Well, why don't you just plug <laughs> the thing right now when you're so clearly eager to do it? How do people get tickets to the show? There's a link. Oh, yeah. Where can we find this link? Well, um, if you go to Indie Lake Schools under our ticket box office. The <laughs> tickets go on sale February 15th and they're $10 a piece. Um, we do have a new start time for the show this year. It starts at 7.30 as opposed to eight because some of us are getting older <laughs> and lots of people like to be in bed <laughs> by a certain time. So I've listened to the fans and decided that we needed to move the time up. Photo break, <laughs> sorry. Gary's interrupting my show again. So yes, that's how you can get tickets. It's all online. Um, if you want to come to the door and buy tickets, um, we are going to do cash and credit card at the door. So it's all in hometown ticketing now. So liar, I couldn't get tickets right now because it ain't the 15th. Well, it's well if your friends. Well, family. yeah. <laughs> I, we can give you a pre-code. 
<laughs> but I don't know if we're friends since you're not coming. I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I completely <laughs> forgot she existed, so I don't know if I'm friends with anybody here, to be honest with you. Uh, <laughs> oh, I wish we did Footloose, because Footloose would have been a, a really fun show. It is a yeah. fun show. But we didn't have, like, that's a pretty guy-heavy show. We didn't have a lot of guys there. Uh, and that's, that's very guys. hard to find. I, I would assume that's very hard to find not only guys who want to do musicals, but guys who are athletes and can swing that, right? Well, let's put it to crew here. Crew, how many? I think we are at 20, 18 or 20 Ooh. guys, but go ahead, crew. Talk about that a little bit. Guys in the musical. Oh. Like how many guys we have. and We have a lot of, it, it's a good thing to have a lot of athletes that, that can also dance really well, sing really well. It makes our show look really good. And you can't, you can't do a musical without some of your friends and all kind of guys and stuff. This man has been well trained. He looks exactly right at the camera here. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. You've got a future in news, sir. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> I like that. Uh, I, I know that's a very tough thing. Yeah, you know, we're all doing different things that don't even play on the same nights. You know, it's not like you're all all th four doing cheer and you know it, it's easy because you're all gone at the same times. You all practice at the same times. How do you each go about balancing rehearsals with practices for your sports? Sometimes you kind of just have to pick and choose, and then if you're unable to make it, sometimes you can, you know, come in early or work on some things that, like, you need to work on. There's always, like, Laker time, and there's always an option. So, like, whenever somebody says their schedule's too busy, I just feel like you can always do something, whether it take up some of your lunch time to come in and, you know, work on what you need to work on so you can be there. I think Riley's a good one with that, too, because she's, she's had to balance a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever you have time, you need to go in and just get, like, if you only have 10 minutes, give her 10 minutes because you're going to get something done Especially, in the 10 minutes. Sorry. Go ahead, Holly. Especially, like, if you're in the chorus, like, you can always choose not to do necessarily a big part. So, like, I'm so involved with other stuff. Just, you know, if you're part of the chorus, it kind of helps with not having too much to do where it's, like, an overload of work. But sure. it's just enough to the point where you can still manage your time fine. And you get the pretty cool costumes. Yeah. I always found Ensemble gets really good comps, costumes. Yeah. Tracy, Tracy also does a really good job with like looking at everybody else's schedule and like strategically making the schedule for musical. I try. Which has got to be very difficult. It is. To be trying to balance. And, and, and you're probably not going to get everybody. Right. But well, at least to get the majority, like that's got to be a lot. Like swim, so like, like basketball boys practice after school and cheer practices after school, but swim has to be at the Y at a certain time. So sometimes we have mm -hmm. like a 45-minute window. And unfortunately, like bowling and girls basketball also fall in that. Um, <laughs> our guy that runs the sound is a wrestler. I mean, we've, we've got all the bases covered here. So in a way, you're almost having to structure rehearsals as like a block A and a block B with... Right. The, with everybody corresponding to, to that. Well, and I look deal. like tonight there was a wrestling meet, so everybody was done by 6, so they could go to the wrestling meet, celebrate senior night, you know, walk with their brother or sister or whoever they needed to and make it work. So we try really hard to do that. And I, I, I was that kid. I did sports and music, yeah, so, so I get it. So was I, four yeah, years. Right. I, I understand the struggle here. Yeah. Uh, I, I understand that there are – that, that this doesn't just happen overnight and there's a lot of been planning what what was the conception of this like when did that start auditions like walk me through the timetable of how this how this came um, to be generally we have a big reveal and, and they keep bugging me so literally come march 3rd they will bug me until the following fall to tell them what the show is <laughs> Oh, um, yeah. This one I did know for about a year and I just kept my mouth shut and they never get it out of me right really like, time out who's the biggest bugger yeah, yes. Oh, no, probably definitely great. my brother. Okay, yeah. time yes. in. Yeah, lots of them are bugging me. Um, <laughs> so then um, after that happens, we usually try to wait till after our show choir extravaganza, and then we have auditions in November, and then I try to reveal who's in the cast around late November, early December. So some of our folks have been working since beginning of December on some of their solos and things like that. So, How long have you all been rehearsing for your parts? Since December. January, probably. Yeah, probably probably the uh, beginning of January. Yeah, probably January. I thought for sure you were going to say last year, like right no. after the first one got done. No. <laughs> okay. I just do the dancing. I, that's my favorite part, is the dancing. That was my least favorite part. Oh. That crew, <laughs> crew might say that's his least favorite, right? I, yeah. I would much rather spend hours working on vocals. Oh, yeah. And just, yeah, yeah I, no. 
Now, no. fight choreography was awesome. I love that. Yeah. Did you ever get to fight? No, uh, we have a slap. <laughs> yeah, I don't get to do any of it. But, no. Yeah. no we his, had a, his brother gets to do some of the punching and all that. Okay. My, my freshman year, we did Oklahoma, so we had a full, like, that dream scene where yes. I, I had a knife. And we had to block all of that. Yes. That was that was really fun. I did Oklahoma. I was Ado Annie. I was Judge Fry. There you go. Yeah. See? I know. Yeah. <laughs> the poor Judge. This know. is uh, Cruz's <laughs> first year doing musical. So and his this is his first year doing the show choir, musical, and choir with all of us. So he's yeah. really Very, so no wonder you like the vocals. Yeah, yeah, the vocals are probably my favorite. Sometimes the dancing is kinda hard to catch <laughs> on. Especially when the songs go really fast, but and, and especially with like swimming, like a lot of people would picture, okay, basketball good with good with legs on land, wrestling good with legs on land. Yeah. Not for the fish. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever have to? Do you ever find yourself like, you know, I don't know if it's during lunch. Or you definitely don't do it in the cafeteria, but do you ever find yourself running through the choreography on your own? Uh, sometimes I kind of just like. I don't know, maybe when I'm just sitting down in class, sometimes I'm kind of like, I'm, al I'm always like tapping. I'm always doing something <laughs> with my feet. Sometimes that resembles choreography. But. How about for the ladies? What's the toughest parts for you? Um, well, this musical, I'm second soprano, which is in between two other notes. So I'm the middle note. So it's a really hard to find my note. So yeah, that's probably the hardest part for me. I would love dancing, so. I agree with her. And then this musical also, you're not really supposed to dance, so it's kind of hard just like sit there and figure out what to do and like try not to dance, but like you got to kind of do it at the same time. Sure. So that's kind of difficult. Remember, there's no dancing. Yeah, I, 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 I was just so, like, I was just like, what? And then I'm like, oh, yeah. We're not supposed to dance, but when we have the opportunity to, I think it's really yeah. our time to shine, I guess. I so. immediately flash back to the, uh, the, the drive, what is it, a drive in or like the Sunday place in the, the remake where they have like the break dancing, yes, like that yes. whole thing. Like right. that's immediately where I went to when she said we don't really dance. I went, and then remembered 75% yes. of that movie is. Not dance. Now, I would love to know, who is John Lithgow? Who's the pastor? Oh. <laughs> you guys have to, do, do you know Daniel Wall? Maybe okay. by name. Daniel Wall has been our funny guy for two years, and now he's the pastor. And oh, that's the slap, isn't it? He's doing a bang-up job, yes. He's, he's, he's killing it, so. Okay. Yeah. Wait. I th that's the slap, isn't it, though? When the no. when the pastor hits, no. What's her face? The, the slap is actually um, the uncle slapping Ren. That. Uncle Wes because he gets lippy with Ren. Right. Or Ren gets lippy with him. It's yeah. been a while. I need to give it a rewatch. I so need oh, a rewatch. You can in March. <laughs> I can't wait that long. Come on. I love Kenny Loggins too much to wait for that long. Ah, uh, it'll be uh, good. I, 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 can, I can do both though. Like no, that's the thing. Our, you should watch ours first, because ours is gonna be better. Like, it's gonna be better See, than I that. I don't know though, Julian Huff. Ooh. We have her blown out of the water. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I will say though, I I love visiting my grandparents, especially the ones who live uh, down in Southern Ohio, because they have a big vinyl collection, and I have a Footloose pressing from 1984. Oh, cool. It's one of my, my treasures. Heaven helps the man. God has oh. got me through so much studying. That's one of their favorites. They love yeah. the I'm free. And, so I, yeah. I almost asked yeah. what's your favorite songs, but as, assuming that it's, it's almost um, a translation from the movie musical. I'd have to think. Probably Somebody's Eyes, which is um, Erlene, Wendy Jo, and Rusty <laughs> singing to Ren, like warning him. It's mm -hmm. a cool song. So one of the originals. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mine's probably the Heaven Helps the Man. Yeah. Uh, mine's probably the girl gets around just because I like singing it. <laughs> 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 I like singing it. Not what I was expecting from you. Yeah. I don't know what my favorite is. I don't know the scene name, but it was the one that we just came from practice from. Oh. Because I was Let's at practice and I know what you're talking about, sure. that makes sense Let's to me. Yeah. yeah. For the boy. yeah. Oh, for the, the rusty boy. dance montage. Yeah. yeah, that one's okay. fun. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. That one's a lot of fun. I know it, well, I know it a lot better <laughs> than I thought. I know. I just like the dancing. Gary, I remember Lincoln spoke at your commencement speech, but were you alive when <laughs> Footloose came out? What were you doing then? Oh. Okay. But you remember Kevin Bacon. 
Oh, yes. We all remember Kevin Bacon. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Good man. I, just, I always have to make sure he's cultured a little bit okay. every once in a while. Gary's the guy I look after on a lot of these shows here. <laughs> Gary doesn't like me because I immediately came in and, and he said uh, he was in the Navy and I immediately said, beat Navy, go Army. Oh, my. That, he doesn't like he doesn't like me from that. that. That is true. That is true. And now he doesn't like me anymore because I messed up his branch. Uh we, we talked a little bit about the, the plug of how people can get tickets. I, I know that typically the final dress rehearsal is open to the public, though, right? Well, it's not open to the public, no. But sure. it's open to um, anybody that wants to come take pictures as far as, like, the That's local right. media. And then we do have, like, our costumers, hairdressers, and usually a few senior parents that will sneak in to get some pictures. <laughs> um, but, yes, yeah, so we try to keep that somewhat closed off, um, but... You could come if you're not going to be in town. <laughs> yeah. We have a spot See? for you. Sure. Come on in. We'd love to have you. Just bring the whole gang from That's you. right. Don't sit Gary next to me, though. <laughs> Just promise me that. These guys can tell you that you're always welcome. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes. Always welcome always. at any lake. I, I don't know that I have any footloose stuff, but I, I'll certainly dust off my chucks and see if there I can go. sneak over there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm living in Columbus now, so it's a it's a very long oh. drive, but it might be worth it. Oh, oh. it's totally worth it. it, uh -huh. it look, look, all right. All I'm going to say is I expect perfection. Oh, no. So do <laughs> I. So do, so do I. I. Okay, good. We're on the same page here. So anybody messes up, it's on you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, how much does the community usually buy in when you guys have musicals? Because I know uh, this, uh, this isn't your first year of having these. No, no. What, what's the usual turnout look like? Well, um, this is my fourth year, actually, at the high school. I was at the elementary. And I feel it's so much fun to go to the musical, like, as a community member. I've helped for probably six years now. But it's really interesting to see, at the end of the night, who's there. Because mm -hmm. we have tons of kids from school that come we have tons of kids that are alumni that come out and then you have everybody in the community that has supported these kids so not just family and friends but people that I used to work with at Waynesville Goshen in the 90s they're there too and so it's definitely a culture that we've you know made over the many many years at Indian Lake and we're excited to have that because we've already sold over 200 tickets both nights just today from eight o'clock on just cast and crew but we have enough room for everyone you know we have over 700 yeah. seats we have a beautiful auditorium you can come see <laughs> 700 yes it's we're about 735 but for the show it's about 711 so sure so some of those are what orchestra yeah we have an orchestra yeah. um, pit area and then our sound booth um, because yeah. we have our lights and our sound back there so Sometimes we get a little loud, not on, <laughs> not on purpose, but if there's a problem. Oh, yeah. No, I, I definitely understand that the, the tech week is, is fun. Yes. It's very fun. Uh, I'll leave you guys with one final thing here. What's your favorite part of the show? We already talked favorite songs, favorite part of the show. Don't start with me. I got to think about it. Yeah, I got to think about it, too. Uh, me, too. Why don't you lead off? Like, oh. Usually the person with the mic leads off. Well, sometimes I don't know my answer right away, so I have to blame it on somebody else so I get time to learn. Yeah, understandable. Um, my favorite part, I just like the whole thing. It's fun. You get to like oh, interact oh, with everybody. Right. You get to dance, sing, and act. Acting's fun. Acting is fun. Yeah. Okay. Acting is fun. Mine is when we're at the Burger Blast. And we, then we sing, I need a hero, or holding out for a hero. Yeah, Bonnie Tyler. <laughs> yeah. I guess the ending, where like everybody's just dancing, at the, like in the movie especially, just like the old time of like where they do all the dress up and it's just that's probably my favorite part well my favorite part is when we are working on is it oh well let's hear it for the boy because willard doesn't know how to dance yet and my brother's willard so i get to watch him fall every time <laughs> i get to watch him fall when he tries to spin so so I, are you on are you on stage for that scene yeah yeah so you're gonna have to coordinate with somebody else to go down during the dre during the uh the dress rehearsal and Took the video <laughs> right. of brother falling on his face. Yeah. So when he says, oh, I'm the better whatever, I have yeah. a younger brother, I know how it is. Just go. 
<laughs> Actually, ta-da, video evidence. Mm -hmm. I'll have to contact someone about that. <laughs> I'll to look into that. Do you have a favorite part of the show? Well, I think they know what my favorite part of the show is because I've said it multiple times, um, and Hallie kind of hit the nail on the head. Hold on, time out. Anybody? What I said? What, what do I want to happen at the end? What is my vision? Oh. <laughs> Somebody to run down the stairs and yell, let's dance? Well, that too, yes. Is it like the morals behind it? Like what it means? No, like, like what do I want, like vision at the end? Oh, like confetti. The, the confetti at the end. It's yeah. like in the movie how it was like yeah. confetti and then like at the end it's going to be like. Yes, like, light, stars, so confetti, funny. colorful dresses. I have always wanted to have a Footloose prom at Indian Lake. Huh? And since they haven't had one, we're going to have it right on stage. I was going to say, you all get to have your early prom shopping. Yes, in the 1980s store, you know. All right, throwback <laughs> Thursday, who knows? <laughs> we could go retro this yes. year. Yes, we have a great, you know, we have a great choreographer. Um, Becky Taylor's our choreographer, and she's stayed true to some of the things from the original movie. Um, our costumer is Billy Hurley, and she's been grabbing all the 80s outfits because Ren will have the maroon jacket, and Willard will have the blue. You know, we're, we're going black school. Lapels. Oh, we're trying. We're going old school here. Perfect. I've got black bow ties if you need them. Okay. I've got them. We'll keep that. I have, I have a very extensive dress closet. Yes. And our set is not, super Not dresses. Cool. Not dresses. Oh, 80s dresses. <laughs> put, a, put a graphic under there that says alert. <laughs> not dresses. Dress outfit. Ties. Kingsman. There you not go. Not my fair lady. <laughs> Two different things. We do have a cool set this year, too. We've done something a little bit different. So, um Ed Rogers is our set designer, so we're excited for that because it's something different for all of us. And we're, we're lots of heavy building. Oh yeah. Oh, I can, <laughs> and, and that's where the wrestlers come in handy. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'll take this. I'll let you guys finish up what is non-existent of your pizza at this point. Uh, I, this this was fun, and I will tentatively commit to going to the show. Okay. I'll tend to, I'm leaving that. I'm leaving that open in case, like, I have to go to court or something. You know, like the non-controllable things. I don't plan on going to court. <laughs> okay. But yeah. you never know how jury duty is. Correct. So I'll leave it up for like that out of control thing that I can't account for. Well, Amy, Amy Huffman and April King get you in touch with me right away. So perfect. Yes, Amy Huffman and I graduated together. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> When we come back, I'll wrap up our wonderful and energetic evening. Don't go anywhere. Chalk Talk will be right back. The weekend should be for relaxing, and that means no cooking. Check out what's hot at Ron's Pizza in Bell Fountain. On top of pizzas, they have subs, sandwiches, salads, and lots of sides like breadsticks, garlic cheese bread, pickle chips, beer battered onion rings, loaded fries, and more. Check out a specialty pizza this weekend. Ron's Pizza is ready to cook for you. Call 292-7775. Or stop by and dine in on South Main Bell Fountain. See more and a menu online at Ron's Pizza's Facebook page. Dodd's Wealth Advisors asked the question, where could retirement take you? We want to go to Alaska. Never been there. And I've been wanting to go for the last 15 years. My wife keeps on saying, no, we're not old enough yet. I think we're old enough now to go enjoy Alaska. At Dodd's Wealth Advisors, we want to hear your retirement dreams and help you turn them into reality. I'm Paul from Urbana. Where could retirement take you? Thanks for joining us on a very energetic and exciting episode of Chalk Talk today. We started off talking with the Urbana High School cheer team and their coach Payne about their Orlando trip that they have coming up on Friday. I've been told you can't hear me, so i got to bring myself closer. Uh, we talked about their trip going down to compete in Florida on Friday. They'll compete on Sunday and go to Disneyland between those days. And then we talked with the cast of Indian Lakes Footloose about their upcoming show coming at the start of March. We'll be back with a brand new episode next Wednesday, February 14th, Valentine's Day, here on Peak of Ohio TV and peakofohiotv.com. But until that time, for Lou Vito, our executive producer, for Chad Wilkinson, our show producer, and for Gary Kaufman, our audio engineer, I'm your host, Caleb Spinner. We'll see you next time. But for now, that's the show. We're out of here.